Hi Aquarius, this is your weekly August 16th through August 22nd tarot reading. I do multiple spreads per reading. Check out the uh, featured channel video for more details. Also, please donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the hangman, then we have the nine of cups clarified by the ace of swords and the ace of wands. Then we have the three of pentacles uh, clarified by the chariot and we have the six of wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, cancer. Wow, Aquarius, this is one of the best spreads in this uh, weekly series. It really is. So we've got the hangman. This is a stuck situation. Something was put on pause, or someone was stalling, or you just couldn't, you know, get this show on the road for some reason. Uh, it doesn't really matter why, but the main idea here is that. You already know this person and uh, perhaps there was uh, an attempt to start this relationship with this person but something was preventing you from doing that either on your side or his or her side or both of your sides right so the good news is that's coming to an end this week there will be a massive forward movement here a massive forward movement did I say it was, it's going to be a massive forward movement? <laughs> We've got the chariot here, right? This is either a cancer you're uh, dealing with, but most likely this is the energy of this relationship moving forward. It's one of the fastest cards in the deck, right? And it's clarifying the three of pentacles. And the three of pentacles, the two of you are starting to build this relationship from the ground up. You're putting down the foundation and you're starting to build right on top of it really, really quickly. So we also have the Nine of Cups here, the second card on the left, right? This is a wish fulfillment for you. And it's clarified by the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So this is a, this is a wish come true for you, for them, for both of you. And uh, we've got two Aces. This barely ever happens, right? And both Aces are about a passionate, brand spanking new beginning. Right, this week is the week. It's something is about to start for you. And on top of it, we have the six of wands on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of a victory. This is a card of a success. This is a card of feeling great. Right, back in the day, the six of wands was called the proposal card. So I wouldn't be surprised if there will be a proposal at some point down the road. So like I said, this is an amazing spread. Something was holding the two of you back, but uh, you know, I think all obstacles will be. Uh, you know, I, I think of the past going forward and uh, this relationship is moving full steam ahead. Aquarius, I'm not going to do an extended for you because uh, this is clear as day. This relationship is moving forward um, and I think all of you know what's going to happen next, right? So, um, yeah, there you have it. And I'm happy for you and congratulations. Aquarius, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We've got the Five of Pentacles clarified by the Three of Wands. We have the Chariot, the Four of Wands, and then we have the Two of Wands clarified by the Star. You could be dealing with a Cancer or another Aquarius. So we've got the Two of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Four of Wands. This is a nice progression <laughs> right there. It's all about passion, right? Um, so, um, we've got the Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Three of Wands. You know what, I'm getting this vibe that uh, you are separated from your significant other or something must have happened and uh, the two of you are not together right now and uh, the two of you miss each other. That's, the, that's why we have the Five of Pentacles. Because I don't see any other like uh, low energy kind of negative cards. Everything else is fine. It really is. And another card, the Chariot, that makes me believe that the two of you are not together right now. Because uh, the Chariot is all about travel. So perhaps you're making plans to be together or to reunite. Right? Because the Three of Wands is somebody who came up with a plan. Right? And uh, now you're waiting for this plan to come into fruition or you're starting to make some steps in your plan or in your decision, right? The chariot is all about moving forward uh, or travel and the four of wands is the relationship itself or this is the card of your residence. So you're planning to go see your person, perhaps they're on the business trip or they got reassigned for work 
and there have been away. And the teal ones clarified by the star. So the teal ones, this is you looking forward to finally, you know, reuniting with your boyfriend, girlfriend, or your significant other. Um, and it's clarified by the star. And the star is your personal card, Aquarius. This is you standing and waiting for this to finally come together. And the two of you come together, right? It could also mean that perhaps the two of you are planning a trip together because your life got kind of stale, you know, everybody is bored a little bit, so you finally decide to, you know what, screw it, let's go on a short or long uh, road trip or something like that. And you're making plans and, uh, you know, your mood goes up and uh, the two of you are looking forward to taking that trip. Alright, so I don't see anything bad, it's actually a pretty good spread, so I'm kind of happy for you Aquarius. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you Aquarius this way. Keep in mind it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, maybe a year ago or five years ago, we don't know. We have the eight of ones clarified by the page of pentacles, we have justice, we have the will of fortune, we have the two of cups and the two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, so yeah, the Eight of Wands, the first card that came out, it's all about uh, communication or somebody could be traveling to see, most likely by air, but it could be any means of transportation. Um, some people call the Eight of Wands the Cupid's Eris card. So somebody is, you know, from the past is reaching out to you and uh, you know that this is about love, but uh, at the same time this person will present you with this Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles could be a gift that they want to give you or something you can touch or if this is an offer to sort of test the waters, to go on a date, but from uh, what you'll be hearing or reading from their message, you'll realize that this person is serious and it could potentially grow. It's not going to be anything wishy-washy, it's going to be something solid on a smaller scale but still solid. And we have Justice, this is either a Libra you're dealing with or this person wants to set the record straight. Justice could also represent a major apology. This person wants closure with you or they just want to restart this relationship with you. And the Wheel of Fortune kind of confirms that because the Wheel of Fortune is all about starting a new cycle. That's what this person wants with you. They do want to get back together and uh, start a new cycle with you. We have uh, the Tea of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is you making a decision or it could have been them uh, thinking of the best way to make you this reconciliation offer because perhaps they know that you would not go for anything on a smaller scale so they had come up they had to come up with some kind of a plan but in a good way they're not trying to fool you because i don't see any deception cards i don't see any negative cards here right um, so this is either them coming up with the uh, with the plan <laughs> or this is you making a decision about this person about this uh, connection whether you want to get back together or not and i deliberately uh, skipped the two of cups the two of cups is actually the outcome I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be because I was kind of curious. Cards are good. <laughs> and um, I thought that the two of you will probably get back together and I think the Two of Cups is the confirmation of that. Uh, the Two of Cups is one of the best cards when it comes to love. To me personally this card is uh, when two people are on the same page and the feelings are mutual and uh, the Two of Cups could also symbolize a soulmate connection or unconditional love. So I don't know what happened between the two of you in the past, why the two of you broke up. Perhaps you didn't break up but it was just a bad timing because I do see the two of you coming together here and I do feel the willingness from both sides to you know get this party back on the road. Right? So hopefully um, this resonates and if this person, if you think or if you thought that this person is or was your soulmate, you know, the Two of Cups is here to, uh, you know, assure you of that. This person is your soulmate and there's still love here. Let's talk about your work, your business and your finances, Aquarius, this week. We've got the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Cups, 
then we have Judgment and the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, or you could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. So somebody is coming back from the past. It could be a co-worker, it could be your boss, it could be a business partner whom you've dealt with in the past, or some kind of a financial advisor. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that it is somebody uh, whom you were associated with in the past. We've got Judgment and the Six of Cups. We've got both cards of, the, of somebody coming back from the past here. Right then, this person is going to rush in with this Knight of Swords energy. This is the fastest knight in the deck. And we've got the Queen of Cups. This is either a Water Sign, Cancer Scorpio, or Pisces you're dealing with, or this is you, as, uh, you know, embracing the energy of the Queen of Cups. Um, you're just going to be soft, kind of emotional, you know, if they uh, try to play with your emotions, most likely you will go along with it. So I don't know what exactly they want to offer you, but they, whatever the offer is, they want an answer quick, because they will try to shock you in a good way and be like, hey, there's this amazing opportunity, but you got to act now. So it's going to be something like that. All right, so... Um, I don't see any card suggesting that this is some kind of a deception, but I would still advise that you don't jump head first unless you're really, really sure about this person from the past who will be making you this offer. All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen to your Aquarius this week. We've got the Hangman, the King of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Three of Wands. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So what you're not expecting is um, you'll most likely be dealing with this King of Cups. This is either a Water Sign, can Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Or this person is someone who is uh, mature, in control of their emotions, right? And uh, if there was some kind of a stuck situation between you and this person, and to be honest with you, it kind of reminds me of the new love spread. There was the hangman too, but it could be about something completely different. You know, the main idea here is that there was a stuck situation, you know, something was put on pause, but I think there will be a forward movement here in during this week at some point. So we've got the page of cups. This is either an apology that's coming from this person or you, Aquarius. Because you see the way it came out is we have the king of cups and then the page of cups facing the king of cups so it could be you reaching out to this person but it doesn't have to be so just keep that in mind right so there will be um, an apology or an email or a text message you know and it will be kind of emotional it'll be a bit loving but it'll be on the smaller scale because page of pages are always you know on the smaller scale somebody could be just testing the waters with you and I think the two of you would either be able to bury the hatchet or come together or have some kind of closure. Basically, if there was a, a problem between you and this person, I think the problem will be solved. Because the outcome is the Three of Wands. The outcome is uh, the Three of Wands is all about, uh, you know, getting a solution or getting some kind of a plan. Basically, it, Something is already done, and then here comes the three of ones, where the two of you or you are starting to look forward to uh, what comes next after that. So hopefully this makes sense, and it's I think it's been a pretty good reading for you overall, Aquarius. Hopefully it resonates, and other than that, have a great week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.